like six days ago, my coach sent me a picture, just a screenshot of Munoz kicking him in the body and his head, and his head was dipping. And he didn't say anything. He didn't say a sentence. He just sent me the picture and I saw it and I was like, okay, I know where you, I know, I, I, we just have a good connection. I was like, okay, I know what you're talking about it. And in the third round, in between, he told me, punch in the air, have him dip and throw a hate maker and I listen good to coach, you know. You know, when I was 14 years old in Ecuador, I was just telling everybody, I want to be a UFC fighter, I want to be a, a world champion, I want to move to the U.S. and train with a, with a real gym. And looking back, everything looked like a fantasy back then, but no one knew I was being for real. I, that was really my dream. And now that I'm leaving it, I'm, I'm fucking happy. I'm, 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 I'm very happy with myself. I'm very happy with the people around me. And... I just can't wait to see what's next. Uh, I'm gonna go back to work and I'll be ready because, you know, if you stop going forward, you stay behind. Um, honestly, I really, me and my team, we really think the way he fights is kind of like very low level. Like there's no base, there's no good stance. All that move from side to side, like, I just believe that style is not the best style for MMA. Maybe for boxing can work better. But for MMA, you got way too many weapons going. And what he does well, he makes it take those with that movement. That's when he's successful. But I was like, it's going to be hard for him to take me down. So we were pretty confident, but we knew this fight wasn't easy.